Ernest could not have been in a worse mood. After having wrecked a tanker full of glue, the large controller had, as punishment, given him the worst assignment on the line. The pizza delivery train. Ordinarily, passenger trains are irritating enough, with the various fuming hordes of people and all, but the pizza delivery train was worse. Far worse. Think of McDonald's on rails, only with more grease. Ernest knew it as he pulled up to the cars that morning. But you can't smell, remarked his driver. One more word of logic from you, driver, and I'll see to it that you'll be eating on the train today. I'll get a paper clip. In a short while, the guard waved his grease-stained flag, and Ernest set out, hoping that the shunter had forgotten to fasten the coupling. He hadn't. Ernest had to keep a brisk pace going, for soon as an order came in through the train phone, conveniently requisitioned by the large controller from the Pennsylvania Railroad equipment at the works for repairs. The train was immediately diverted to the proper line to make the delivery in time. And by the way, yes, the large controller had renamed himself again, this time to the really funny name. Worse yet, the train also had an onboard restaurant. At every station, deliveries were sent out while noisy herds of people boarded, insistent on eating cold mushroom pizzas. As if it was not bad enough to have generally irate people on board, but then again, what else is new in the way of passengers? The combination of high speeds, rough routes, and flying pizzas made the already irritable members of Mattel absolutely scaling mad. We will not stand for this service, grumbled one of the passengers. We will complain to Mr. Daniels, the large controller, corrected a waiter. It makes no difference. Some people don't like food going to waste. Meanwhile, Ernest was pretty fed up with food himself. Because pizza would often come flying out of the roof of the cars, Ernest was covered from radiator to cab in various pizza flavors. The large controller came to see him later that evening. I hope this teaches you a lesson, Ernest. Sloppiness does not make for an efficient railroad. That is so, replied Ernest. You might find it wise to remember that yourself. One more word out of you, and I'll have you scrapped and melted down into a small jet plane. A small jet plane? said Ernest. What would that teach me? Have you ever seen cheap airline food?